What's up guys, welcome back to the vlog. I'm here at Tyler's house. We were going to fly here today. We're actually gonna take his paramotor, my paramotor, to my field to fly them for the first time. There was a big fog front that came in and our instructor decided to bail. We're going to go to him where he's got a little bit better condition. So we are rushing, we are like in a huge rush to pack up Tyler's paramotor. He just broke it in. We're gonna go an hour and a half to Puyallup. Long story short, we're in a rush. We gotta go, we gotta get to Puyallup so that we can fly. We're gonna get Tyler airborne today and then from here on out, him and I can just fly from our own property. We'll be good to go. It's all good, dude. We're gonna get in the air, we're gonna fly. Don't even let our wives know what's going on. Good boy. Looks good, we're good. Paramotors are loaded in Tyler's truck. We're on our way, it's an hour and 16 minute drive. And then before you know it, we'll be airborne, we'll be flying. It's gonna be good, let's get out of here. How do you feel, man, you ready? I'm stoked, so ready. Little bit of a bumpy start, but. Yeah, that's all right. We're, we're gonna roll with the punches. That's right. And uh, we're gonna get airborne too. You gotta pay our dues, you know? These are the things, like, we have to be flexible. We gotta go where the weather works, and uh, we have to listen to the professionals. We gotta listen to the people that are teaching us how to do this. Someone threw a bottle. I see that. I figured that was your beer bottle. No, I don't drink Alaskan brew. You wanna what, get it? You wanna get it? What is this, garbage? I mean, no, we'll just okay, get it later. We'll get it later. We, we gotta fly. Can't worry about this now, but. How rude. Dude, this fence looks great. Thank you. Well, thanks to your help and your tractor, man. I didn't do much. Well, you augured all the <laughs> <laughs> He did the most important thing. <laughs> Maybe we do have a bit of wind. And that's the thing. We're flying inland, um, which the conditions are a lot different than where both Tyler and I trained. Although we trained at different beaches, we normally would have linear wind coming right off the water. We'd have like a nice big open stretch. But now we're flying inland, so we have wind that's whoop, Oh. Remember, our babies are back there. So, I've done a bunch of launches on tow, but I've never gotten a chance to do a foot launch. We just ran out of time, and uh, our schedules didn't jive, so my instructor was scheduled to go into, uh, my instructor was scheduled to leave for Germany, and the weather had been turning, and so I haven't had a chance to do any foot launches with my instructor, so. And I sneeze. Bless you! I lost it. Stop. Bless you! <laughs> Stop, I lost it. <laughs> ah, no. <laughs> I just want to sneeze now! Please! Let me sneeze! Blue skies. Blue skies, Tyler. We're flying! We're gonna fly! Woo! Woo! Oh, you got a temperature gauge in here? Yeah, 53. 53, that's frigid. Quick pen. You found a treasure. Dude, Insulin! Don't touch that thing without gloves. <laughs> Insulin pen. That's disgusting! Get rid of it! You can't just pick things up, Tyler. Why? Why not? It's like my son when he picked up that pink condom. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a balloon. Conditions are perfect. You lean over and you say something sexy like, I get a bed, I have work in the morning. <laughs> Come help. Oh. <laughs> that terrible. seems like a back injury waiting to happen. <laughs> Here. Oh, my coccyx. My coccyx. <laughs> lines are good to go you don't have any twists or knots they're gonna cause the wing to come up weird on my last trip out I did have a weird launch and uh, it was because I had a little bit of twist in one of these lines now while Tyler's training I'm just sort of doing my safety pre-check and warm-up sequence I'm really eager to fly but I also kind of want to um, just let them talk for a little bit uh, so I don't distract Tyler or anything. 
by launching, you know, as glorious as it will be to launch. Um, so, just a quick warm up, make sure everything feels good. Okay. Okay. What do you think? It's different, for it is, sure. Huh? Yeah. yeah. A lot of different variables when you add the whole uh, heavy ass cage and everything. My no, no. Roll forward. You can now stand up, Hannah. There you go. There we go. Yeah, the cage. Uh, well, and the just the technique and the posture is just super different. Yep. So I kind of have to break new habits. The but I think they'll translate. Yeah. That's like kinda... and my wing is all set up. I'm going to get a practice launch in, uh, a little short flight, maybe 15, 20 minutes buzz around while Tyler's training, then while he rests, I'll try to come in and land, film his first flight, hopefully, and then, um, then uh, if that all goes successfully, I'll fly around while he gets his second and third launch, and then hopefully after that, we'll have some time for a uh, cross-country flight. Let's see what time is it. It is almost 4 o'clock now, so uh, we might get it in. I kind of doubt it, but we'll see. So once that wing comes up, yeah, start to get on as long as you're you're square. I can feel it falling now. Guys, this is what it looks like up here. Freaking beautiful day. Man, and to think we almost couldn't fly today. God, I hope Tyler can make it up. Right now I'm just coasting, doing some weight shift. Sort of floating into the wind, half throttle. Sort of keep my elevation. Uh. Woo! <laughs> that was sick! Wow! Good. 
Did you see, <laughs> did you see that landing? Yeah, that was awesome, man. Skied it out like Good crazy. Job. That was so sick. <laughs> oh. The only thing that would have made that better is if I could have caught the wing, but I forget that it's on my own now. I just feel like uh, the launching is still tough. Landing, I still feel like I have some like, I kind of second guess it, like I want it to be a good setup, but that's fine. Yeah. Um, but now I feel like, I no longer feel like I'm, uh, I don't know, like actively piloting everything, if that makes sense. I feel like I'm just like, I want to go over there and I just go there. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Keep, 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 keep. Man. This is gonna be Tyler's last attempt. He's got this. Looking focused. He's looking dialed. He's gonna just send it. He's gonna send it to the moon. Man, that paramotor looks nice. I like the look of that thing a lot. You got this. Ah, this is the one. Look at that magical fog layer rolling in. He's gonna slice right through that can opener. Explode, 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 explode. Perfect. Power, 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 power. More posture. Pressure. Stay on it, stay on it, buddy. Woo! He's airborne. Yeah! Woo! 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 Ah. Ah. Yeah! Doing good. I bet you he wishes he could just stay up there forever. He's going right at the fence. That's okay, nice work, Tyler! Yeah! Yeah! I'm so worried about that fence. You were going right at the fence. I was like, I do uh, So up in the air, I couldn't give any more throttle. I was getting these like surges. Really? Yeah. That's weird. I was worried about that fence, sorry. Yeah, no, no, no. You I was like, oh man. Yeah, it was, I knew it was gonna be close, but I knew you were like ready to land. The, the motor was so yeah. weird. Yeah. That's why I was like, Looks fine. I didn't want to land, but I was like, man, I don't know what to do with that. I wonder why it was surging like that. I didn't want to land in that, and I didn't want my wing landing in that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, good, nice job. All right, good job, dude. Oh man. Dude, killed it. Buddy, we're doing it. Uh, start it. Uh.